think is the future going to be good, bad? I think the future is going to be good. Um, I feel that, you know, when it comes to the internet and, and technology, we have a lot of things which are going for it. For example, things are getting cheaper, uh, computers are getting more accessible, um, broadband access rates are getting faster, you, you, you're now starting to get like Wi-Fi everywhere. So you're seeing that it's, the internet is being more accessible beyond the home and in places which you, know, you would never think of it um, uh, being able to be accessed like 10 years ago. So I feel that there is a lot of um, um, potential for it, a lot of potential for new applications. Um, just in this year alone, you've seen a lot of new um, applications like Google Maps and Google Earth, things which have um, geospatial kind of um, information in it. I feel that that is only the tip of the iceberg. I mean, once you have people starting to uh, tag things on, on, on things like Google Earth or to collaborate on them, I think it's, it's you know, you're going to find like uh, really new ways of doing things. Um, people are going to be um, collaborating in, in ways which is like not possible and you know you have things like what they call swarm intelligence or smart mobs and those are very uh, interesting concepts and you know most people wouldn't know um, you know that such things would be hitting them but they such technologies and such concepts would be uh, filtering down into everyday life um, they'll, they'll start seeing it in, in their phones um, in the PDAs that they use, in the computers that they use, and uh, gradually, you know, the, the way they, they work and the way they interact with people is going to change a lot. Um, just like, you know, 10 years ago, without the internet, without IM, without um, social networks, you know, people didn't have ways to interact with each other as much as we did right now. Um, right, but right now, you know, you, you can use um, what's available on the internet, you can use the software there to discover things which you would never have been able to do so. Um, like right now, you can use social networks to discover friends, to discover, to discover friend of friends. Um, and most importantly, with like things like search engines and blogs and you know, uh, things that link things together, they allow you to find friends which, are, um, which have the same interests. And that is very uh, special to a lot of people because people naturally uh, want to gravitate towards um, you know, people that they know or people who have the same interests. So they, they like this kind of things. And I think the internet is en enabling people to group together in such niches and in, in ways which has never been possible before. And so that's what I feel about the internet. I think it's very good, good prospects for the future. What do you, what do you think is out there way in the future of technology? I mean, there's been talk of mm -hmm. artificial intelligence at the conference mm -hmm. and a singularity where Mm -hmm. what, what do you think about that? Well, I think it, it's a very far off concept. Um, for me, I, I'm very interested in like internet and the realities right now, or maybe in the, in the next three to five years. And um, f yeah, it's, it's a good idea to think of like, you know, technologies which would happen like 20 years away, 25 years away, but it is very difficult for most people to understand or phantom or, you know, so, um, what I, what I think of would be, you know, where the world would go in, in the next few years. And I think that uh, we, we have a lot of um, um, basic technologies. Like right now, the, the, what they call the Web 2.0, I think those, that is changing the way um, the internet is working. Um, you have like Ajax-enabled applications. You know, you have like rich clients on, on your browser. That, that is fundamental mentally taking software away from the desktop onto the internet. Um, the, the web is going to become uh, the place to go to for information. Uh, the desktop is, you know, uh, less relevant than what it was like, you know, a few years ago. Uh, with such applications, rich interfaces, you know, the ability to draw up information straight away. Um, I think we're going to see a lot of, uh, you know, new ways of, of interacting on the web and, um, you know, I, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it, yeah. That's good. Um, mm -hmm. what, do we need to, what do we need to look out for? What, what, what's, what scares you or th you think we should be cautious of? I think what scares me right now would be um, 
the way the word can get around the internet very quickly. Um, I think in the past two or three years, we've seen the rise of blogs. And I mean, I think the latest statistics I, I've heard is that there are like 15 million blogs around the world. And it's a, it's, it's a whole new way of uh, passing information around. You know, it is a rival to traditional media. And previously, when companies you know, screwed up or something, they could easily cover up or something. But with blogs, it just goes around the web like wildfire. And damage control is very, very difficult. So um, I feel that that has both um, positive and negative impacts. Negative because those who are affected by the negative news will definitely be brought down very, very fast. Um, but on the positive side, you know, uh, you things which traditionally would, wouldn't have been reviewed, you know, can be exposed through such technology. So I think that, that has, you know, it has both the positive and negative. Um, I think the other thing is privacy concerns. Um, right now we have like a very unsecured web and I think that it's very easy to, you know, lose your information or be, you know, susceptible to identity theft. So, um, I mean, that, that is the greatest concern. And right now you have a lot of uh, technologies like, you know, Google Maps or what people are saying, you know, wow, you could peer into my house and um, look into where I live, find out where the military bases are. So um, it, it presents a whole new uh, level of challenge to everybody from the consumers all the way to, to the governments. That's what I feel. What haven't we talked about that, that you want to say about all of this? What haven't we talked about? Um, Well, I, I think um, one of the biggest things about the internet in the past few years has been the rise of open source technology. And for me, I think that that is uh, a very great enabler because open source technology brings down the cost of software, the cost of systems. And that is a great enabler for um, countries which are more backward or you know, poorer countries, poorer societies who can't afford technology or can't afford software uh, because with open source software, people can have access to, you know, the applications that the first world has. And I feel that um, beyond that, open source software has actually developed um, more than just software. Uh, it has developed a, a, a kind of culture. Uh, now you have like consumer generated marketing, which some people would call open source marketing or, um, you know, open source education even. And these will be some of the great um, trends that will, that will be, you know, sort of like um, some of the, I think this, this will be the great, um, one of the great solutions uh, towards solving what people keep calling the, the great digital divide because it really brings down the cost of uh, technology and it brings down the, ex the barriers to access. So um, uh, millions of people around the world will have um, much better access and a much better chance to to live better, to to you know to learn about things and to you know bring themselves out of the poverty poverty that they're they're facing. So that's what I feel. Thanks. Great. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs>